Hi, happy Monday. Thank you very much for clicking on to a new read. So I'm going to be using these change me prayers. So for the people who like to say prayers, or if you need a prayer to say, if the message, if the message resonates with you, um, I'll try to leave the prayer in the comment section. I'm going to still do it anyway. If I forget, can somebody just kindly um, ask me to do it? Because sometimes I'd be forgetting. But yeah, these are the Divine Beloved Oracle cards. So I'm going to use this one today and I'm going to just ask about, um, I'm going to ask for this week, y'all, since it is a Monday, what's the, what, um, what prayer does the collective need to hear for this week? What message does the collective need to hear for this week? <clears throat> Okay, now I don't know who needs to hear it is because, like, but every so often this be showing up, y'all, and it be on point, seriously. But look, boundaries showing up here, <laughs> it's giving boundaries, okay. And it says, I am entitled to say no, yes. It's like sometimes you got to like reaffirm certain boundaries, y'all, because if you think about it, it's like certain people, um, that don't have boundaries. Or like maybe they don't respect your boundaries. It's like you got to keep reminding them, which is crazy. Sometimes it can get a little annoying too. Because it's like, why do I have to keep setting up these boundaries? And I do feel like too, if somebody is like not um, respecting your boundaries, then go ahead and just like cut them off quick. Like seriously. Because I just feel like certain, like people should not have to keep affirming their boundaries. So it's almost like if they keep stepping over these boundaries, then cut them off but i'm gonna read the prayer but it says change me divine beloved into one who easily sets boundaries wherever needed may i feel entitled to say no to any situation that feels bad or wrong fill me with divine confidence speak through me so it looks like now for some people there could be fear surrounding setting up boundaries depending on like the circumstances y'all and if you feel like that's not you then that's cool that's fine but it is certain people out here um, and I just saw 222 on a timer when I looked up real fast. But it's certain people out here that don't feel comfortable with like speaking up for themselves or setting up boundaries. But it's okay. Spirit is speaking through you. So just know that, you know, it's like you all good. Like, don't be afraid to say no. And it's like, no is a whole sentence too, but it also too reveals certain things about the people that you're saying no to as well. Because if you think about it, if, you, if you're the type of person that's always saying like, yes, 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 and it's like no type of boundaries, no type of standards, then of course they're going to feel like they can use you because it's like you are a resource pretty much. But sometimes people like to abuse their resources. That's what it's looking like. So... And this is like in any given situation, just like with anything. But I've been noticing that too, like um, just having like different encounters with people. It's like some people actually are afraid to like speak up for themselves or like to defend themselves. And I just find that very interesting. Um, it's like they will not say anything. They'll just like kind of like let it. Oh, I'm thinking he's talking to me. I'm like, what is going on? <laughs> I just forgot what I was saying, but I'm going to go ahead and move forward. I'm going to actually clarify this. Oh, that must be her husband or something. Because I'm thinking he's trying to get my attention and I'm looking in the mirror. Give me some insight on boundaries for the collective. Why is boundaries showing up here? So for this week, y'all, it's like... Look, you could be wanting to set boundaries with certain things or certain people, but also too, it's like standing on the boundaries too. Like you can't just be like, oh, I got boundaries today, but then tomorrow is like no boundaries. Like what? No, you really got to stand on them boundaries, whatever they could be. Give me some more insight on boundaries for the collective. What does boundaries mean for the collective? This could be in regards to like, uh, for some people, because this page of swords came out. Now, I feel like this could be in regards to um, people asking you questions with this page of swords, y'all. 
it's giving like a nosy type of energy like seriously so i don't know what this is about but <laughs> look it's looking like it's okay to tell these people no or it's, it's giving like mind your business that's what it's looking like so i'm gonna see what else shows up here what else is um the collective needs to know about boundary why is boundary showing up for them for this week why is boundaries showing up for the collective for this week? Thank you. This could be in regards to like work, career, finances. Um, we got the queen of pentacles, but the king of pentacles is significant too. So let me see. Give me some more insight on boundaries. Why is boundaries showing up for the collective, please? Why is boundaries showing up? Oh, wow. So, look, the Six of Pentacles came out, y'all. So, yeah, it's like, even though this is, like, overall, like, a positive card, but sometimes it could be, um, it could kind of turn out to be not so in your favor because with the Six of Pentacles coming out, it's like these people are showing up as beggars. And I do feel strongly, it's like the type of energy that's showing up here. Um, it's like these people can do for themselves, but it's like they may not have the mindset of like giving and receiving, or they could be um, unappreciative of what it is that you could be giving to them. And it could be anything, but I feel like you could be showing up as somebody with a lot of resources, or it's like you're in a position to where you can actually help people and they see that. They could look up to you as well. But it's almost like, oh, well, then I'll just rather get it from so-and-so because they can do it. But it's like, no, you have the right to say no because these people can actually go out and get it themselves. But it's like they're choosing to be in this type of position too. Even though it's like, yeah, you can't help them out. You can be a lending hand and you could be wanting to give to them too. But it's like, you got to set up boundaries in certain ways. That's what it looks like. Especially if you do have your own business, you could be a king of pentacles or a queen of pentacles. People could be seeing you as somebody with like an abundance of resources. Like you looking very abundant. Okay, so yeah. And sometimes too, it um, it's like when, and I, I just heard somebody um talking about this too. I think it was like yesterday, but um, it's somebody that I watch on YouTube, but it was saying like when people see that you got like a platform or whatever, or you got your own business, it's like they may feel like um, they can ask you for money. But then it's like, what if you needed some money? Would they be able to like, would they give it to you? So I feel like there's an imbalance there when it comes towards like giving and receiving. So let me see what else comes out. Give me some more insight on boundaries. Why is boundary showing up for the collective, please? Why is boundary showing up for the collective? Uh oh. For some people, there's going to be an increase in your um finances. Something's happening when it comes towards like basically you um being blessed in an abundance, or it's like a windfall of abundance, right? There's a need to like move in silence or it's almost like kind of keeping quiet about it. You know how like a person, and I've just seen like an orb. People be saying they be seeing these orbs and stuff in my video. Sometimes I do be seeing it, but then sometimes I can't see it. But I just saw one and it's not dust. Somebody tried to say it was dust. See, you... but anyway, um, there could be a need to keep it a secret when it comes towards this abundance that the universe or source is blessing you with with the ace of pentacles i'm seeing um obstacles being removed when it comes towards your finances that's what it's looking like because the pathway is clear it's like nothing blocking it so yeah there could be definitely i feel like it's gonna be look it's gonna be like clear as day or like it's going to be very visible that something has changed with your finances like seriously so then people may feel like they can actually ask you for money there's a need to use your intuition though trust your intuition when it comes towards um just like giving and receiving type of situation 
I'm going to see what else comes out. Not really sure if someone has friends. I feel the need to say this, but I'm not really sure like how it resonates with people. But this type of thing does happen. Like, let's just say you are in a position to where you got your own business, but you're able to buy um, like designer items or I don't know, something in regards to like someone's wardrobe. It's like you could have designer purses, but you may have people around you. It could be like family members or friends. But they may feel entitled to like your possessions. It's almost like, well, you're not using that. Like I ain't seen you, like you ain't never wore that before. So let me get it or let me have it. So yeah, I don't know who need to hear that. But Spirit is saying you could be wanting to like tell them no. Like it's okay to say no, but you know how some people may feel entitled to your possessions that you worked hard for. Cause they see that that's like abundance or wealth. So Give me some more insight on boundaries. Why is boundaries showing up for the collective? Why is boundaries showing up for the collective, please? Thank you. So the lover's card is showing up here, y'all. There could be also too a need to set up boundaries when it comes to where it's a relationship, a partnership. This could be even to be a friendship as well. Because sometimes people like to be like the little, some people like to be all up in another person's relationship. You be thinking like, okay, it's like, wow. Um, <laughs> you be thinking they the third party. <laughs> you be thinking they the third party in a relationship. They be all up, they be knowing everybody else's business like within a relationship or whatever, or even like a friendship. I don't know, but there could be a need to set up boundaries too when it comes towards, or setting boundaries when it comes towards friendships and relationships. Give me some more insight for boundaries for the collective. Why is boundaries showing up? So temperance is coming out here too. Yeah, I don't know who needs to hear this, y'all, but it's like, don't feel bad. Because spirit is saying you're doing the right thing. Because it's like, if you are an advocate for peace, love, and happiness, and balance, fairness, um, then it's like, yeah, you're doing the right thing with temperance showing up here. Also too, something in regards to like, um, basically you having to compromise. For some people, you know how like, I'm trying to figure out the best way to explain this. And I don't really have like a, a, great, a great example right now. But like, let's just say you are in some type of friendship or partnership, but it's almost like they could be trying to make it seem like, or maybe you feel like you gotta compromise your peace or your happiness just to say that you got that you in a relationship or you got a friendship i feel like that's not fair like that to me that is crazy like basically um you feel like you can't have peace or you can't be happy because this person is overstepping your boundaries they're not respecting your boundaries but at the end of the day it's like you feel like you got uh i don't know you got a man a woman or whoever or you got a friend to call or like you know to be with that's crazy i don't know but i don't feel like you should have to compromise that so i'm seeing balance being restored here it's like peace and harmony balance being restored within relationships partnerships but it starts with saying no and just like standing firm on boundaries so i'm gonna get another card out Why is boundaries showing up here for the collectives? Please tell me why is boundaries showing up? Okay, that was one too many cards. So I feel like um, now it could be boundaries when it comes towards work, like a work environment. But also too, this is in regards to teamwork. So you could be kind of switching up the players on your team when it comes towards like work or career with the three of pentacles. It could go both ways, but either way, it's like a sense of teamwork. So it's almost like if they not on your team, then it's like, you know, you could be wanting to um, make a decision about um, switching some things up. This person had, um, <laughs> I'm looking at this car and it, it's like they wanted to drive fast too, but they got like fire, like flames painted on the front of their car. Give me some more insight on boundaries. Why is boundaries showing up for the collective, please? The tower coming out. We got the four of cups showing up here too.
Let me see what else comes out. Give me some more insight. Why is boundary showing up for the collective? Why is the boundary showing up for the collective? Yeah, I feel like there's something new that's coming in, y'all. Look, you're about to be experiencing um, a tower moment, but I feel like it's more so just unexpected changes. It looks like it's in regards to someone's financial situation, but no, it's like spirit saying, get, like, get prepared to like really set up some. It's like even though you could have boundaries right now, but it's almost like a new sense of um, entitlement surrounding your situation that's what it looks like and i feel like this is um because with the tower card coming out it's like whatever foundation this was it's it's being disrupted so with the ten of pentacles coming out here this is letting me know that it's like you have been rebuilding so it's like you could be building a new foundation something very stable sturdy but it's going to be like very visible that something has changed with your foundation. So yeah, I feel like um, spirit is saying get ready to um, uh, set up some boundaries or get ready to say no. That's what it's looking like. Cause um, this abundant energy being shown up a lot with the Ace of Pentacles. I'm actually clarify this really quick. I should get the Kipper cards out, but um, I ain't about to be doing, I'm not about to do all that. Because I already used them um, recently. Give me some insight on a the Ace of Pentacles here. For the collective. Give me some insight on this Ace of Pentacles for the collective, please. Give me some insight on this Ace of Pentacles for the collective. There's some big changes that's coming in, though. Because the Ace of Wands just clarified... Oh, the Ace of Wands just clarified the Ace of Pentacles. And we don't have three Aces, but to me, this is giving like big change. So it's like two cards indicating a new beginning. Give me some more insight on this Ace of Pentacles here. It's like basically some good news surrounding um, new ventures, new opportunities, new beginnings. Look, we got this Knight of Swords that's showing up here. This could be somebody coming towards you, y'all, because we do we do got the lover's card that came out. Somebody could be wanting to come towards you. Or you could be going towards someone. But I'm I feel like it's in regards to like sudden changes. Give me some more insight on this ace of pentacles. But something about work, career, like a work environment is very significant too. Um, for whoever this is for. For some people, you could be like meeting somebody, or maybe you met somebody. Um through like some type of work situation. Don't know the full details, but I'm gonna see what else comes out. I was trying to get some more insight on this Ace of Pentacles. Give me some more insight on this Ace of Pentacles for the collective. Oh, and also too, not really sure who could be needed to hear this. Look, Wheel of Fortune card coming out. So another ace did show up, ace of cups. This could be in regards to new love, a new beginning in love um, for some people. But look, there's going to be a change in your fortune and a change in your status. That's all I was saying. It's like um, a lot may come with this new status or these changes. But Spirit is saying like get ready to set up boundaries or whatever. That's what it seems like. Or like continue to stand on your boundaries. But you know how like when things change in your life, you may have to like switch some things up or um, you may be called to do um, certain things because of this change that has happened in your life or whatever. But yeah, that's what it's looking like. So some positive changes are occurring here. But I was going to say, what card was this? I done forgot what I was going to say. Anyway, I'm going to just end the read here, you guys. But thank you very, very much for watching. I'm going to try to put the prayer for whoever wants to hear it in the comment section.